I'm a real estate agent and my voicemail has been full for about seven years and I do it intentionally. I know that sounds crazy. I was born in 1978, the world I grew up in, you know, lived and died in voicemail, but it's 2024. We need to discuss the rules for a leaving voicemail, but B is just calling people. I heard this. It was probably some, you know, YouTube short or something like that. But like when you call somebody, you're asking them to stop what they're doing, whatever they're prioritizing at the moment and give you the floor and give you the priority of their time at that moment in time. And I'd like to make a suggestion, but I'd like you just to think about that for a moment. Like I get it. There's only one way to talk to somebody. You have to call them on the phone. But what I prefer is that you text somebody and say, give me a call when you have a few minutes, unless it's not really, unless it's really important or you don't care that they don't pick up. But the world is changing. And I can tell you that when I was kind of getting going in this business in 2014, it started evolving where people nowadays do not under any circumstances want to talk on the phone. I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I'm telling you it is what it is. And some people only want to talk on the phone. They don't want to text. So normally when I sit down with the client, I usually ask them, how do you like to communicate? And under what circumstances that we're going to communicate? Like, obviously, if we're going to discuss an offer or like, you know, something major, we definitely need to talk on the phone about it. But if I had to let you know that somebody canceled a showing, would you like a text message or a phone call? So getting back to my my voicemail, okay, like it is definitely shocking when I tell people that I haven't had voicemail in probably seven, if not longer, years of my life as a real estate agent who just sells a lot of houses. When you call my phone, um, it says, hi, you've reached Brian. Thanks for calling real estate agent EXP Realty. The fastest way to reach me is to send me a text message um, or you can send me an email. Here's my email address. Now, why do I do this? Because I've been um, in sales to the general public for over 15 years now, because I was in the mortgage business before real estate, my phone number is all over the internet. You just type in Brian Mayer, my phone number is like all the way up and down. And then a lot of these companies will use software to scrape these phone numbers. And then they try to sell me, I get health insurance all day long. I get, you know, team up with me, buy my leads. I get calls from random phone numbers all day. Now I will pick up the phone if there is a uh, caller ID associated with it. If I'm getting a calling from a call from Susan Smith, I'm picking up the phone. Or if I'm getting a call from a local phone number, a 410-586-443-624, something like that. Like if I recognize the area code and the first three numbers as being somewhat local to around here, I'll pick up the phone. But a lot of what of these companies are doing today is they're taking advantage of that by using spoofed phone numbers where they'll you know, call you from a local phone number. So I'm very, very wary of picking up the phone. And it goes all the way back to what I was talking about, just the idea of calling somebody on the phone, because I got stuff to do. I'm trying to focus, you know, I'm in the middle of something and I'm getting a call. Hey, this is, you know, Larry, you know, are you still in real estate? Yes. Are you looking to take on more buyers and sellers? No, get off my phone. You know what I mean? Or, hey, and then they give me this long thing. It interrupts your day. It interrupts my train of thought and it keeps me from being productive. So I don't like taking phone calls um, when I'm in the middle of stuff or if I'm on an appointment or whatever, you know, I tell people I'm only going to answer the phone if my wife or one of my daughters call. That's about it. Um, so I feel like that we need to maybe have a conversation about phone etiquette and the idea of just calling people. Now, if it's like somebody, you know, and you just call them and you don't care if they pick up, that's fine. But if I need to reach out to somebody who is not expecting my call, and we're not like best friends, I think the best thing to do is to shoot them a text message. Hey, this is Brian. Give me a call when you have a few minutes. That's what I normally do with my clients, or I don't care if they don't pick up. Leaving your voicemail full sounds like a crazy idea, but I, I mean, if you called me at some point and you got a voicemail and you refused to text me and you hired another real estate agent, leave it in the chat. 
I would love to find out that that ever happened, but I would be willing to say if I had to bet money on it, that that has never happened, that people will text me. Now, the only scenario I can imagine is if you're calling me from a home phone, like an older person, and I didn't pick up for some reason, you weren't able to leave me a voicemail, that's fine. But the trade-off is if I left my voicemail open, I would have a full voicemail every two days. And then I got to go through, you know, at one point I had this visual voicemail where I could go on the internet, but I got to log into a website. It voice transcribes. I got to read all of them. And then honestly, they make me aggravated because even then a lot of times the voicemails will sort of trick me into thinking I need to call them back. Like, Hey, this is Dave. Call me back. I call him like, Oh, 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 this is John. Oh yeah. Dave called you because we were asking you if you were interested in blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they're playing tricks on us. So in order to defeat the machine, I'm not saying everybody should do this, but honestly think about it. Because if a real estate agent can do this, you can probably do this. Just let your voicemail fill up. Leave a a recording that says, don't leave me a message. I don't check my voicemail. Send me a text message or send me an email. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I guess if the person really needs to get a hold of me, they could call back. And even some telemarketers will call back twice. Like I answer the phone if they call back. And he's like, hey, you know what I mean? Like their system automatically does it. So everything that we try to do to prevent them from getting to us, they've broken it. So if you want to really, really beat them, don't answer the phone. Tell them to send you a text message. And even then sometimes they'll say, hey, try to leave you a voicemail. Your voicemail is full here's who I am and what I'm calling about. Then I can decide if I want to call them back. But like I said, the, the, the world we live in, people don't like talking on the phone. They prefer text message. I have some clients who only wanted to deal on Facebook messenger. I'm fine with all of it. You know, I I think text messaging fine. Obviously we have to talk on the phone. Sometimes it is what it is, but what do you think? Do you think letting your voicemail fill up is a crazy idea in 2024?